Hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm back with um, Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons Part 15, I think. If I have the part wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm a little out of it right now. Um, uh, I've been out, out of it for a few days. Finals are kicking my butt. Um, not in a bad way, in a good way. I'm glad they're almost over. Um, so, yeah. I've been trying to pre-upload, pre-record and then upload them. So, and I've really been working on my mic. I am listening to all of the comments. Thank you guys who comment, good or bad. I really like the feedback. Um, even if some of you guys think they're negative or whatever, I really do take them and try to change what I can, you know. So, I really do appreciate it. And thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, this is just so fun to me. I love doing this. And I just want to be good and... Uh, yeah, just open people's eyes to The Sims, I guess, and for people who don't play and watch this, um, hopefully it makes you want to go out and buy Sims 3, you know, not all of the games, but at least one, try it out, but I don't want to ramble on, and sorry for all of the ums, right now you guys are looking at some Sims that I've made that are in this town, and I'm just zoomed into them because I really like seeing Sims that I've created and the um, how they are living their lives throughout the town. And this guy, as you guys know, Felicity saw him on the dating website, and he's married, and he has two children, Nia and Becky, and he's out here with his kids, and you guys probably see this stroller that did not come with The Sims 3. No, it's custom content, and it's marvelous, and it came with a lot of other things. Um, yeah. So, Anyways, right now, the family's at the festival. I think the, at the last part we left off at me putting in them to bed and me telling you guys that we're going to go to the spring festival. And we are here. So, yeah. I'll tell you what everyone's doing. Felicity is inviting a, a guy over that she met off of her online dating. And she's actually, kind, she's his friend already. Adam and Wilmington are hunting for eggs. And I see more eggs, so we're going to have them come over here and pick up eggs and I think this is the coolest thing make an Easter egg hunt and it's just so cute um, Stacy is playing horseshoes with Tom right now on the girl side so I haven't been watching them I just pressed on them for them to do them so I don't really know what it looks like so when I press play we'll watch them do this oh I'm just trying to get a good picture guys hold on oh my gosh I'm sorry for that in the background my um watching the game with my BF and uh, he is so excited about the game right now sorry about that <laughs> Okay, guys, so they're playing horseshoes. Oh, Logan said he doesn't feel like coming out right now. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. So it looks like Stacy's not doing too good at tossing this. Oh, my gosh. She's not doing good. But she's trying. Oh, she's trying, though. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to Adam and see. He's supposedly gotten a lot of eggs. He's just running around. Finding the ones. Oh, see, he's doing good. Go find more. Oh, you guys picked up all the ones that you could? Let's see. It's Oh, he's getting cold. How many degrees is it outside? It's zero degrees outside. Wow. It doesn't even show the eggs that they have. That's weird. I thought the eggs would be in the inventory, but they're not. So we're going to go around and see. Maybe they should pick flowers for their mom. And pick these flowers. And we're going to look for more eggs. More eggs, more eggs, more eggs. Oh, there's some over there. Found some. Found some. Over here. I must say that I love these festival grounds in Twin Book. I haven't seen Spring Festival in Sunset Valley yet, so 
I really, really, really like spring. It's actually better, no. It is better than the winter festival, but I don't know if it's better than the fall festival yet. I don't want to say that it is, and then I change my mind, you know. Maybe on Love Day, the whole thing will change, or just the whole thing around Love Day. Then I'm probably going to think that this is better. This one's better, but I don't know. I'm going to have him pick blue ones and give them to his wife. Okay, and now we're going to go to Felicity. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Being sad and being glitched out. <laughs> okay, so we're going to see if we can find someone for her to invite out. Mm, he's old. He's not cute. But we're going to invite him over. Invite him over. And if all of them come, the better. Invite him over. And invite him over. We're going to invite him over. I think that he is the maid or something. We're going to invite him over too. And we, he has a partner. Scott. Ew. So we can't even like him. I was sad because I liked him a lot. Okay, so we're going to go back to Stacy and then he doesn't feel like coming either. Who's winning? No one's winning. Okay, no, you're not going to continue to do this. We're going to stop playing and we're going to try to, what other game can you play? There's no pie eating contest. She's going to practice throwing the baton. And then I want them to test their love, but not yet. Uh, there's no pie-eating contest at this festival. I wish there was, though. Oh, that sucks. Okay, but anyways, there's a dance floor. I might have them slow dance. Or get a kiss at the kissing booth. I might have that happen. <laughs> Anyways, so we're at the playground part, and I added these for the people who bring their toddlers with them. For some reason, they didn't bring Anastasia today, but I added these and made them match. So, you know, people bring their baby babies, toddlers, they can have a good time with them. I think it's getting ready to rain outside. It's 5 p.m. Gonzalo said he'll come. Okay. Okay, yeah. Gonzalo, Gonzalo's... Oh, I'm sorry again, guys. Uh, he's in the background watching the game. Just having a great time watching the game. <laughs> and he's not even in this room, but you can hear him. Like, clearly. But... So we're going to get a kiss. Oh. We're going to get a kiss. We can kiss you. I guess. We can kiss you. Oh my gosh. Someone that she... Someone that she... Okay, guys. So Felicity just got on talking to him. And it says, It's been great meeting you. Um, maybe we should go out on a date sometime. And right now, she's talking to this hot, hot, hot. I'm putting it on pause, you guys. You guys have to see how hot he is. I went in and changed how he looks. Okay? Um, when she starts talking to him, you'll see who he is. You'll see how I changed him. You'll see. And he is just gorgeous. Like, super gorgeous, and I want her to slow dance with him, because that's how gorgeous he is. And this is Gonzalez. Um, he'll pop up here. Gonzalo Lot, and he is, he kind of looks like Tom, 
I guess. But he's hotter than Tom. Let me press pause. He is super hot. Oh my gosh. Sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, I just... Uh, they're loud because they're watching the football game and I... They're all the way in the other room and they're so loud. I apologize. Ugh. BFs in football. <laughs> I bet you guys understand that. Um, look at look at that face. Hold on, guys. Look at that face. Look at that face. Face is gorgeous. Oh, hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about that, the noise. But anyways, okay, so she's talking to him, but she's on an outing with, um, the healthy guy right here, August. Um, he's more to love, you know? So, but he's hotter. Ooh, what is he doing? Getting to know. It's like, ooh. Okay, I want her to flirt with him, but her teeth are chattering. This is a new moodlet. It's, uh, it says, um... Well, Felicity can't claim she didn't see this coming. She is so cold, she literally cannot stop her teeth from chattering. So, I really want her to flirt with this guy. I know she's cold, it's 8.30. I sent everyone home, I think. Yes, everyone's at home. So, I don't know what they're doing at home, but right now we're worried about Felicity. And we're not going to get to know him right now. I know I invited you out, I'm sorry, but we need to get to know this hot guy. We really do. Like, we have to get to know this hot guy because you he's not even on the dating website and he's just, well, he is, sorry. I just keep forgetting that I changed him to look oh so beautiful. And yes, he's family oriented. I didn't change his traits at all. I just changed how he looked. So, oh, and his top, if you guys can see, it's like a vest with a cardigan underneath with a dress shirt underneath that, like the layers and everything. That came with the garden set for from the Sims 3 store. And she likes him too. Like, see, all of her people are here. And it's kind of awkward she's going to give him a pickup line and then she oh he's leaving i'm sorry i don't want anyone's feelings to get hurt i just rather her like him because he's so hot like i want her first boohoo to be with him i know that sounds horrible but i do um can she confess attraction yet no Oh, she's so cold, she's going home. No, 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 don't go home. Don't go home, don't go home. I'm fetch your attraction. And then you can go home. Cause I want him to know that she likes him a lot. It's 10, oh, it's 11. <gasps> she's freezing to death. Oh, she has to get in the car and go home. I don't want her to die. Oh, gee, I don't want her to die. 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 Ugh, go home. Go home. Please make it home. She wants to kiss him. Yay. I want her to kiss him. Frostbitten. She has frostbite, guys. It says... It is now officially too cold. If Felicity doesn't warm up soon, she'll be positively frozen. I don't want her to freeze to death. I do not want her to freeze to death. So she's going home. Okay, guys. So Felicity's home, and as you can see, she's really frostbitten. She's not frozen to death, but she's totally frostbitten. So, yeah, that sucks for her. But we're going to see what she needs to do. She's hungry and needs to go to sleep. But I'm not going to have her eat yet. I think I'm just going to have her go to bed after she writes. Oh, two of the people she was on. 
Oh, they're both here. Well, I don't want her. She's going to have to be a little bit mean. And she's going to be mean. And she's going to write them all love letters, but him first. She's going to write Logan a love letter. And she's going to watch Gonzalo a love letter. August a love letter. And Justin a love letter. And then she's going to go to bed. <sighs> and everyone else is going to bed. So I will fast forward through this all and then come back when they all wake up. Hey guys, so they're all awake and as you guys already know, Tom, Adam, and Wilmington are already out of the house on their way to school. Yeah, they're all gone and Felicity's reading her cooking book because I want her to get her cooking level up and tomorrow is love day tomorrow's love day so we really have to work hard today to make sure she's going to have a great great love day let me see she has to have a great great love day yeah I'm super excited, so we're going to see if we get any letters back or anything. We're going to invite people over. It says, what's your sign? Looks like you and I were meant to be. Oh, he likes us. He likes us. So we're going to call him. She's a Pisces. He's a Gemini. They're not meant to be, really, but we're going to make this work. We're going to make this work. We are going to make this work. She has to get a date with him. Or, let's see, Justin. I don't want her. August. Maybe Justin August or this beautiful guy right here. This beautiful Gonzalo. We're going to chat him up and invite him over. And her cute outfit of hers. And I think Stacy is going to walk Pats. I mean Cash. Stacy should be walk walking Cash and Anastasia is sleeping, I think. They had a rough night with her. I'm glad I didn't record it. She just cried and needed to be changed and then needed to eat and a lot was going on with her. So Oh my gosh, so Stacy is walking him, I think. Yep, they're on a walk. Okay, guys, so it looks like Anastasia's up, and the babysitter is actually a good babysitter because she's getting her up. Oh, and the babysitter's kind of pretty, kind of. I wonder how long she's going to be a teenager. Um, But yeah, so she got Anastasia up, and Felicity just invited someone over. And we're gonna see what's his name? I think um, Gonzalo. Sorry about that. I can't control the fire trucks, but um, yeah, Gonzalo's coming over. So I'm really excited, and as you can see, she's super excited too. She's gonna go tickle Anastasia. I don't really want her to, but that's what she's gonna do. So whatever. I don't want her to do that, but. She's going to. Anastasia's just the cutest. The cutest. The cutest little baby. Okay. So I think that um, he's here. So we're going to head downstairs and put her down over here. Because I think someone's at our door for us. Yep. He's here. The lovely hotness is here here to see us oh my gosh I'm super excited because tomorrow's love day and I want her to have someone right before love day and it's happening it is happening for her so I'm super excited okay we're coming on downstairs okay guys so I'm just gonna show you how much they look alike I think my inspiration was Tom, but not like on purpose. I just think that Tom's like attractive, so uh, 
yeah, they look like they look like a lot. They really do. Oh, and gee, it's so ridiculous. They look like they're brothers, and they have the same hair. Uh, I should have been more careful. Let's see. Uh, go outside. Oh my goodness, he looks just alike him. Yeah, they look exactly alike. Mm-hmm, it's exact, almost. He just has darker skin and darker features and is a little bit more handsome. But, okay. Speed three this part. Um, I want them to go, like, out and dance. So that's what I'm going to have happen. I don't want her to have her first kiss until, like, later on. So we're going to give him some flowers, and then we're going to go. Okay, guys, so Stacy and Cash walked so far. They're going to walk home now, and it's raining. I think it's cool that they can hold their umbrellas and walk the dog. So that's really cool. But now, we're going to wait for Felicity and what do I keep? Gonzalo to get to the destination, which is a sports bar that I made. So, yeah. Hey guys, so we're back at the venue that I created, but I went to the wrong one. I actually went to the wedding venue I made, and I don't want them to be here, but they're already here, so I'm going to have to deal with it. Their first date is at the wedding venue that I made. Ugh. Because I, I plan on getting her married here, so I didn't want her to have a date here or anything, you know, so, because that's kind of weird. But, this is the wedding venue that I created. I like it a lot. Um, it's really nice. Like, there's a lot of expensive things in here. And, yeah. But anyway, it's about their date. So, let's see what goes on with them. Uh, please be single. Please be single. Uh, don't have a partner. Ah, uh, he's single. Oh, you're wonderful. And you are making moves on me. Confess attraction for him. Come on. Come on, come on. Confess your attraction. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. First, well, second date. Um, second date got her the lover. So, yay. Okay, alluring, alluring. I wonder what he's gonna do. Be flirted with. Oh, okay, I'll let you flirt with me. I don't want her to have her first kiss yet until tomorrow. I know how cheesy am I, but not until love day. Unless he does it. Like, if he tries to kiss her, then that's okay. But, because I can't stop it then. I'm getting a bit sleepy. I should head home. This was a really nice time we spent together. Thanks. Way to end the date. And it says, great date. Yay, she had a fantastic date. You're going to head home, and I'm going to check on everyone else. Okay, guys, we're back at the house. As you can see, everyone's home. Tom's getting ready to talk to Wilmington, have them work on their relationship a little bit. Stacy's cooking dinner, spaghetti with veggie sauce, and Adam is getting ready to build his relationship with Anastasia, because I really care about Sims and their relationships with their family members and siblings, so I try to make sure I keep up on their relationships.
And since it's his baby sister, they should get along, you know? Big brother, little sister, they're not always going to get along with each other, but they should get along a little bit. You know, so it's getting there, you know, it's small, but I want her to at least know who they are. Next, I'll have Wilmington reach her after he gets done talking to his dad. What are they about to do? Play rock, paper, scissors. Okay. And what is Felicity doing? Nothing. She wants to become friends with an alien? No, it's not going to happen. Not right now. I don't want her to be friends with one yet. She doesn't really have any cool friends. Um, she has a lover. We're going to invite him over. I know, I know, I know. But I know we just got off of a date and it's almost midnight. And he probably won't come, but we're going to do it anyway. Let's see. His relationship with his sister should be going up. Do you think it's too... Don't you think it's too late to talk? Ugh, whatever. I'm sorry. She needs to use the restroom. Eat. Ugh. Okay. So she needs to do a lot. So let's go in the kitchen. See if the food's ready. It is. Let's eat. It's 12 a.m., but that's okay. And he needs to eat, too. Wow, everyone needs to eat. No, they don't need to, because they went to school today. They can go to bed, though. It's midnight. They can head to bed. They can head to bed. Let's see. Is his relationship or friendship yet? <sighs> Yay, they're friends just by reading a book. I thought that's what happened. I've heard, like, because I haven't really read, like, a toddler and a child in a while. So, except on my own gameplay, and I don't really pay attention to it, I just know that they're always friends. Like, my, the kids in my Let's Plays, um, of my household, they are always friends. Always, 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 I keep the relationship really good. So, he's gonna eat, then Felicity's gonna put away the leftovers. And then she's going to go use the restroom. And, yeah, she's going to go, well, she's going to go to this one. I don't ever have her go in the master bedroom. I don't know why. I don't know why they refuse to use the dishwasher. They love washing their dishes by hand. I don't understand that. I really, really don't. It's so weird to me. Anyways, Wilmington should be reading to Anastasia. No, why isn't he? Where's Anastasia? Where is she? Okay, no. You're going to read to her first. I know it's 2 a.m., but you need to read to her, then go to bed. Then you can go to bed, I promise. I promise you can go to bed afterwards. And Stacy should be in the bed already, yes. And where's Tom? He's supposed to be going to bed too. And is this a bad quality quake? Oh my gosh, it's horrifying. Tomorrow's the love day, guys. Well, today's love day officially. So we're going to end the part here once they all go to bed. And the next part will be all about a love day. All about love day. And it's going to be great. A great, great, great. I want to see what, how, what I'm going to do for Tom. Maybe I'll have them go on a double date or something. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know. But, yeah. Oh my gosh, there's an alien here. Ugh. There's an alien. There's a freaking alien. Why won't they leave us alone? They're like here every night. Every night. Oh my gosh, every night. And I don't understand. <sighs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me why they're always here.
Okay, so yeah, the alien is just always here. Or aliens. I don't know why they don't leave us alone. Don't know why. It's so annoying sometimes. Because I'm scared that he's going to get abducted again and get pregnant. And I don't want another alien child in the household. So it's kind of scary. And all the radios are on. So, so we're going to turn them off. I know I just said we're going to end the part, but... And it's almost time for them to wake up, so now I really have to end the part. While everyone's sleeping. Oh, is he reading? Oh! Oh, he's reading to her. He's not even going to have time to go to bed. Wilmington's going to be so upset when he wakes up. If he even goes to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. Go to bed. So we are really going to end the part here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, it's officially love day and it says it's here. Go hug your friend and kiss your partner because love is in the air. Take your social special, sorry, someone to the spring festival and better yet, find your soulmate there. Yay, we're going to do a love tester and all that in the next part. So, yeah. And everyone has this mood lit. It says spring fling. Spring is the season of renewal and it's natural okay anyways sorry guys i'll read it in the next part thank you guys for watching thank you so much so much have a good night or morning um yeah um subscribe like dislike and comment